So last night I decided to experiment with my Canon EOS M to see how far we can get to emulate that cinematic look that uh, we love so much. I took as a reference an image from Seven and I tried to get as close as possible to that photographic look. In the reference image there is a particle light on the left to justify the soft light in the room and on the side of the face. There is a slight backlight on the shoulders and the neck and the shadows are very deep. So I use it to light, honestly the only to light I own. A very cheap softbox ASCII light, whose light I have further softened by filtering it through a diffuser. And the cob light, the Godox ML60, that I used with a yellow filter to illuminate the background. I didn't use any fill light in order to get that deep shadows. For the backlight, because I didn't have other lights, I turned on all the lights inside the house and it helped me to have that slight light on the shoulders and the neck. I filmed in 5K mode, 1440 by 1836, 2.35 aspect ratio, 14 bits, 100 ISO, and I used a 7 artisan lens, wide open, 1.8. From MLB, I imported the clip as a Cinema DNG lossless in DaVinci Resolve. This is the raw clip without any correction, and this is the image from 7 that we have to emulate. These are my settings in the Color Management tab. I started with the Color Space Transform to put my clip in a wide working space, DaVinci Wide Gamut. As I said in other videos, and for what I know so far, the Canon ESM RAW material doesn't have an identified color space, so you can choose the one that gives you a good starting point. This time I set my color space and gamma as Rec 709. After that I created another node to go back from our working space to the final delivery, but since I want to use the Fujifilm 3513 film print emulation, I set the output color space as Rec 709 and the output gamma as Cineon Film Block. So I created another node after this for my Fujifilm LUT. Before and after our nodes. Then I set a compound node to recreate that 7 bleach bypass desaturated look with silverish highlights and deep blacks. I create a mixer to nodes in which I desaturate the lower node and set the composite mode as art light. Before and after the bleach bypass. Then in my exposure node with the HDR wheels I rose the exposure and some lights and shadow. In my balance node I shift the light range toward a blue cyan tone and darks toward a yellow orange tone. Before and after the balance. I put my saturation node in parallel with my exposure, bleach and balance nodes. And I rose the saturation a little bit. Off, on, before, after. Then I created three parallel nodes. The first one uh, to lower the saturation of the white objects in the background. I did it using the U saturation luminance qualifier to mask the objects. After target the objects and tuning the mask, 
I isolate them from the rest of the scene using a power window. Finally, I lower the saturation. Before, after. The shirt has a dominant cyan wind tone. So in my second parallel node, I did the same as the background. Masking the shirt, qualifying the luminance. Then with my curves, I lower the green and blue channels in the highlights. And in the HDR wheels, I lower the global exposure. Before, after. In my third parallel node, I changed the luminance and color balance of the practical light in the background using the same method of the previous two nodes. I push the light range towards the orange side in my wheels, the global wheel towards the cyan side, and I rose uh, the global exposure, light, and a little bit the shadows. Before, after. At the beginning of my nose free, I add some noise reduction. And I put some grain between the CST out node and the loot node. It's all, and this is the final result.